In this tutorial, I'm going to use a combination of wildcard and parameter queries in order to create a query that behaves the same way that a search engine search, for instance, in Google, searches for data. Now, I'm going to do this in order to look for a first name or any fragment of a first name. So people haven't got to know the entire first name. You can just put a bit of it in and the database will search for it. So it's quite simple to do. The first thing I do is put queries and new. And OK. In design view. Now I'm going to search my customer table. So I add the T customer and close this down. Now I add all the fields. And I'm going to make name a bit bigger. You haven't got to, but just so you can see what I'm doing here. And in name, I type in like and then in quotation marks an asterisk then an ampersand and then after this my parameter query where I'll put enter first name or any part of name complete the parameter query and then finally an ampersand and an asterisk now I'm going to try running that query with a, a variety of test data so you can see how that works so the first thing I do is close and save the query, call it query um, wildcard parameter first name customer and click on OK. Now when I run this, it'll look like a normal parameter query and it'll work like one if I use it like one. For instance, if I just type in John and click on OK, it'll just find John here. Now, but I can look for data in a different way. If I go back to the design and run the query again, this time instead of looking for John, I'm going to look for J-O. And when I run that, you'll see it's found John and Jolene because they contain J-O. Let me try that with another bit of uh, test data. Go back to the design, run it again. Now this time I'm going to look for J-A. Click on OK. doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. And it's found Jane, Jack and Janet. J-A. Let's try it with a, a final test data. Go back, run it, and now JE, and if I run that, it's from Jenny, Jean, Jeremy, and Jemima, all containing JE. Now, it's by coincidence that all the things I've been looking for are at the beginning of the, um, the names. You could search for any part of the name. If I look for double N, for instance, it would find every name with double N in it. For instance, Jenny would come up. Um, it'll find any data anywhere in the string if you use this designer query. So a little last look at that. That's the configuration, like asterisk, ampersand, parameter, ampersand, asterisk, in quotation marks, and that will give you your Google type search in access.